So let's have a look at the data sets that we will need to solve this case study. Attached to the lecture, you'll find two files. The first one called combine sheets chain of cleanings version 5 empty will be the input file. In other words, the source of data. Here we've got the revenues for five years, year one, two, three, and four. As you can see, they all have the same structure. In column I, we've got listed business units in draws, dentists, GP doctors, others. Then in columns starting from column J, we've got months. And the sales in millions of dollars are in the blue area. For example, the revenue for dentists in January was around 14.8 million, whereas in August, GP doctors made, uh, in terms of revenues, almost 14 million. Now, what we want to do is to get all the data from those four sheets into one table. In other words, we want to get something like that. So we want to have uh, one column where we've got year, month, business unit, and sales in millions of US dollars. To do that, we will have to combine data from different sheets and unpivot them. We'll do that in the output file. So let's move to that file. It's also attached to this lecture and it's called aggregators of sheets version 5 empty. I recommend that you pause now the lecture. Try first to solve it on your own using the hints in the sheet tasks. And in the next lecture, I'm going to show you the solution to this case study. So we're going to walk you through the steps one by one. So you can also see it, how we have done it. So I hope you managed to do at least partially the work. Now let's walk you through the solution. So first let's connect the output file. In other words, the aggregators of sheet version 5 empty with the input file, the source of data. So we go to data, get data from file, from workbook. We have to find the folder. Where is the file located? In our case, this is Dropbox exercise. We select the combined sheet chain of clinics version 4 empty. This is the file where we've got the sheet with the data. We press import. And he shows us the sheets and tables which are available in this file. Now you can select specific sheets by clicking on the select multiple items and then clicking year one, year two, year three. However, this will not be dynamic option because if you add a new year as a separate sheet, you will not take it into account. So the better choice is simply to select the whole folder combined sheets of clicks version 5 empty. In other words, the whole file. And we press transform data. As you can see, he has created a table where he's put everything from the file into one table. We've got the name of the sheet, then data puts all in one column and we can obviously expand it and there are some additional other columns we will not need so we will simply erase them now obviously we don't need all files we just need the files with the word year so we're gonna select them through filters we'll pick contains and let's type in the word year press ok and we get nothing and this is due to the fact that the names of the folders are with a capital letter as you can see, year one, year two, year three, year four. If we type it in like I did, so with a small letter, he will consider it a different word. So for him, year with a capital letter and regular one are two different words. Therefore, you have to be very careful when we type in year with a capital letter. So now he's selected all the sheets that have this year with capital letter inside. Now we don't want all data to be in one column. We want them to be in separate columns. Therefore, we press expand, load more. We can uncheck use original column name as prefix and press OK. So now everything from those four sheets, so year one, two, three, and four, is inside this very big column. As you can see, most of the columns are empty, so we can get rid of them. And this is what we're going to do. So I select the column, I press delete. We do that so we get to column nine. Now we can get rid of the rows, which also are empty, we'll have plenty of them. We'll do that through filters. So we go to column nine, we select diagonal column for filters and we remove the empty records. Now it's time to do something about the headers. As you can see now the columns have weird names, so column nine, 10, 11, and so on and so forth. Starting from column 10, we want actually to have above the month from which the data are coming. And luckily this is in row one, 
this is taken from sheet year one, where this one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth are the header of the table. And we're going to use it as a header of this table as well. So we go to home, then use first row as a header. And we already have the proper name of the months in each and every column. They should be in 12. Let's go and see. We've got it. It's fine. Now, the problem is obviously that we've got the headers from the tables, from other sheets like year two, year three, year four. We want to remove them as well. Luckily, they are next to the word business unit we actually don't need as well. So we will filter out the business unit word and this will remove the whole record with the headers from other sheets. And this is what we do. We deselect business unit. We're almost done. Now it's time to work on the first two columns. So the second one should be actually business unit. So we double click on that and we type in business unit. And the first column will be simply year. So we already have combined all the data. Now what we want to do is to unpivot it to get the proper table. The fastest way to do that is simply to select the first two columns. So I've select the column year. I press shift and I keep it pressed. Select the business unit column. We go to transform, unpivot columns. We select unpivot other columns. As you can see, it has created two columns. The first one called attribute. It has put the month. And the second one, the sales in millions. So let's change the name of the column to month. We also should change the type. It's already visible by looking at the records that they are considered to be a text. You can also see it by looking at the icon next to the column name. So it's ABC, so it's a text. And we want this to be a number so he can properly order the data. So we click on this ABC and we go to decimal number type of data. And we're done. Now we can close and load. Two. We want this to be download as a table in a new worksheet so press ok let's maybe add a slicer here and we can browse through the data for each and every year we can obviously add other slicers as well now the good thing about this solution is that if a new year is added in the input file we should get it data on this year in the output file as well so let's go back to the input file. In our case, the input file is combined sheets, chain of clinics, version 5 MT. Let's maybe get here for make a copy of that. Let's to be located after year four and let's rename it year five. Let's save the file. Now let's go back to the output file. In our case, the output file is aggregate of sheets version 5 MT. Obviously, for timing, nothing happens because we did not refresh the data. So we have to right click on the table, pick refresh. And as you can see, we got year five. So that's in short. Have a look at that and compare it with your solution. I'll also attach my solution to this case study as well to this lecture.